Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. Uh, uh, ready to get it in, this, get it in on this morning. Uh, so let's 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 rock. Conference muted. Conference recording started. Want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Man, on the early with ICT Scripture Study and Prayer Line on his twenty third day in May, um, twenty nineteen. Y'all, let's dive into this word. Hallelujah. Let's go to um, Second Peter on this morning. Second Peter, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. <clears throat> okay. First verse. Kiefer is his real name. Or Simon Peter, as a servant and apostle of Yahushua Hamashiach, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of Yah and our Savior, Yahushua Hamashiach. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Yah and of Yahushua, our Adonai, or our Master, right? Look at this. I want y'all to hear this. It says, grace and peace be multiplied. Grace, unmerited favor. And you say by grace through faith. Right? So grace, what saves us, right? Grace and peace be multiplied. Through the knowledge, what you know. Through the knowledge, you got to study. You got to know the word. And you got to have a heart to obey the word. Unfortunately, and I want y'all to hear this clearly. Unfortunately, the Most High have children that don't, that, um, how can I put this, man? I guess it's safe to say it like this. I'll recant it if I have to. But the Most High have children that don't listen. That's kind of like an oxymoron. But I still want to say it like that. With permission from Yah. But anyway, grace and peace be multiplied on you through the knowledge, what you know. You're studying to know the word, right? You're studying to know the word. That's the knowledge of Yah and of Yahushua HaMashiach. The word that was made flesh. So the operation of humanity that came to rescue us in whom we were baptized to be risen, to be just like walk in the newness of life, to be just like him, right? So grace, y'all, I want you to hear this. You want peace in your life? You want Yah's unmerited favor in your life? It's multiplied through knowing the knowledge of Yah, which is the Messiah. The knowledge of Yah was robed in a body. He gave up the body, but it's still the knowledge of Yah, with or without the body. The body came to die on a tree for our sin, lived the perfect example and die on a tree for our sin. So we need the knowledge of Yah. Are you with me? According as his divine power have given unto us in all things that pertain unto life and yahliness. So his divine power, right, has given unto all of us, right? Look, given unto all of us the things pertaining to life and yahliness. So everything that you need to know concerning having eternal life and living yahli, you have it through his divine power, which is his word, his Ruach HaKadosh, right? Listen, through the knowledge of him, through the not knowing, why would, why would he give you revelation and knowing you ain't going to do it? That's why some people, you can preach to them and they're not going to do it. Because they don't have the knowledge because their hearts isn't right. You got to get your heart right so that if he do reveal truth to you, you're willing to do it. You're willing to obey it. Look, according to his divine power, have given unto us all things pertaining unto life and yadiness. How is that happening? Through the knowledge of him that has called us unto glory and virtue. And that's Yah. He's called us on to glory and virtue. Yahliness. 
living a, a, a certain way, right? And you're going to live that way through the knowledge. You got to know him. Four first. Whereby are giving unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature. Look at this. We were sinners, right? But now we're partakers of a divine nature. That's why in 2 Corinthians 5 and, and, and 17, it says, if any man be in the Messiah, he is a new creation, a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That's why you can know somebody was raised with them, but they're not the same person no more. Because if they're with the Messiah, if they're saved and with the creator, they, they, they're partakers of a divine nature. A different nature from the nature that they had in the beginning. Whereby are giving unto us exceeding and great and precious promises. That by these, by these promises, right? By these you might be partakers of the divine nature. It's not talking about a bunch of precious promises about some natural stuff like people hyped on. You want to, you, you want the precious, uh, uh, precious promises of Yah to transform you into his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. The, 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 the corruption uh, that's in this world through lust is sin, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Evil, funny stuff, backbiting, grudge holding, lustful, unfaithful, won't function. You 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 get in the way of it. You refuse to function in the house of Yah. And that's showing up, that's giving, that's forgiving, that's participating, that's being all in. When you don't have the divine nature, you have a reason not to show up, not to give, not to forgive, not to why you won't cooperate, why you won't hop out the bed, why you won't deal with that lust of yours. You have a reason not to. I'm going to read the fourth verse again. Whereby are given unto us exceeding and great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. And besides this, giving all diligence. Look at this. Now you're hungering and thirsting after righteousness. You're, you're, you're striving as hard as you can. You know how we strive hard as we can for our education, to make our money, to get those degrees so we can get them promotions and get that money. You know how we do that. All diligence to get a man or a woman tired of being single. We give diligence. We, we working out and buying clothes and painting lips and batting eyes, you know. We, we stacking chips. Where you going this summer? You stacking chips and saving. Don't have nothing for y'all. But you stacking and you think that that's okay. And it's not. But it's not okay with y'all. Look, and besides this, give it all diligence. He wants you to shift your diligence from carnal to spiritual. From this earth to, the, to, to, to heaven. From this, this 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 natural government structure to his government, to his kingdom. And besides this, giving all diligence, look what it say. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Now, now, let's rock with it, right? Um you, you're you're uh let, let, let me let me message you. Uh where, where, where am I at? Knowledge, uh, okay. And give God to us in fifth verse. I'm going to read it in another translation for you. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness. Right? Yali goodness. Like, you want to be a good person. We didn't have no goodness. There's nobody good. We have to borrow from Yah's righteousness in order to be good. We might think we're good, but there's none good. No, not one. So the only way we can walk and be good is if we get it from Yah, Right? So it says, besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith goodness, right? For this reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness, knowledge. You, 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 you're changing from who you used to be. See, the world made us who we are now, or were. Some are now, some were. 
but the world. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, right? We were born for our, from our moms the wrong way. We came into this world as sinners, right? But it's saying now that you have received Yah and you have faith in him, now you got to get out your calculator and start adding, right? Now, to be honest with you, just to give you a little bit more insight, when we look at Galatians, the fifth chapter, and it, add, it talks about the spirit of the most high, and it says the fruit, you notice if you look in Galatians, the fifth chapter, I believe it's about the 23rd verse, right? Or 22, whatever it's 22 or 23, but it says, it says the fruit singular, Back to what I was saying. And besides, it says the fruit of, of, of the spirit, right? The fruit is singular. So when it goes through all of those attributes, it's a combination. It's not single attributes. It's all the ingredients of the spirit of Yah, a.k.a. love, right? To be honest with you, the same as this, just, just so you can get an understanding, right? And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith goodness, or a.k.a. virtue, and to virtue knowledge. I'm teaching, y'all. So, so knowledge, right? In other words, you're studying the word. But that's something, you have a certain amount of knowledge already in order for you to have the goodness. Because remember, you're adding to your faith. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm letting you know on the under that it's all the same thing, y'all. Meaning all these ingredients come to the true children of Yah, but I'm going to keep going. And besides this, given all diligence, add to your faith goodness. So your goal is you're good. You're good to be around. You're a good person. You're a loving person. You're not keeping score. You're not holding grudges. You're good, right? And you're adding to the, your goodness knowledge because you're always studying. You're not studying for head knowledge. You're studying to be better, to continue to grow in him, going from glory to glory, right? Watch this, sixth verse. And to knowledge temperance, read it in another translation. And, and, and to knowledge self-control. Now watch this. You need temperance or an, a.k.a. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, self uh, 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 control and the reason why you need temperance, aka self control, is because the word, your, 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 your nature, our sinful nature goes against the word. Galatians 5 again, gleaning from that, right? The flesh lusts against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to another, so you can't do what you want to do. You can't do what you want to do, aka, is self control. Because you're going to want to do some things that are not right. You're going to want to gossip. You're going to want to be messy. You're going to want to be stingy. You're going to have a reason not to give. You're going to have a reason not to forgive. You're going to have a reason to point out problems and issues and, and this ain't right and that ain't right. You're going to have a, a, a reason to, but you got to have self-control in Yah. So not only are you saved now because you got faith, right? Even grace works by faith. We're saved through grace. We're saved by grace through faith, right? So you're adding to your faith goodness and to your goodness knowledge and to your knowledge temperance, which is self-control. And to self-control, you're adding patience. Let's see what the other translations say, right? Add to your knowledge self-control and to your self-control perseverance, which is patience, meaning you're waiting on Yah, but you're still moving forward. You might not like the circumstances in your life. You might not like what you're facing. You might be uh, uh, facing some tough times. You might be facing some loneliness. You might be facing some heartbreak, some letdown, but you're still persevering. It don't mean patiently wait on him while you're sinning. That's why in James it says, uh, 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 if you lack uh, uh, wisdom, if you not lack knowledge, let him act of Yah, but let him act in faith. For if you don't act in faith, you won't, won't receive nothing from the Most High. He said, let him act in faith, meaning you're still persevering. 
You're still obeying him. You're still doing his will, even though it's hard on you right now, even though it might be some great area right now, even though you might be hurting right now, even though you might have been wronged right now. You're going to persevere, right? So add to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, yolliness. Let's look at it, y'all. And to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, yolliness. You want to be like Yah. You, you're taking on his divine nature. I keep telling y'all it's the same thing. It's just breaking it up into molecules so you can know the ingredients of the ruah, the ingredients of the spirit that dwells in you. The, the, you want to know the ingredients of, of, of the great one because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. He's already living inside of us, and these attributes are readily at our hand, but we got to have, we, we, we got to have the willingness we have to have the self-denial piece ourselves. We got to have, what we bring to the table is the willingness to cooperate. We, what we bring to the table is, is, he said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. We got to be the believer and the believer is willing to deny himself for Yah. Come on, somebody. And to knowledge, temperance, and the temperance, patience, and the patience, yalliness, and the yalliness, brotherly kindness. So not only am I good, I'm working on my execution of that good. You, I can give you a sandwich the wrong way, and, you, and then you say, I ain't hungry no more. I, I don't want nothing from you, not how you act. And to, and seven verse, and to yalliness, uh, 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 and to yalliness mutual affections, right? Where am I at? Seven, right? Okay, but look at what it say. And to yalliness brotherly kindness, Right? So I'm kind in my goodness. I'm kindness in my charity. I'm kindness in, in it. Uh-oh, I went too far. So here we go. And to y'all in this brotherly kindness, and brotherly kindness, charity. Uh, other translation. And, and, and to y'all in this mutual affections, and the mutual affections, love, which is charity. Because love and action is charity. Charity is the action that, that was birthed from love. I, I am operating in a way that's conducive to drawing you to the most high. I'm operating in a way that, that, that I operate in selflessness, knowing that the most high spirit does the same thing. Look at when the world was made flesh. What did he do? Well, look at Yah before the world was made flesh. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That was prior of him giving. And then him giving, look at what the Mashiach did. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The word, Yah, voice, was made flesh and operated on earth. And all he did was give in love. And even when people came against him, he said, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And you notice his protégés, like, like uh, picking on Stephen for a minute, acted the same way. He said, lay not this sin that they charge, even though they beat him to death with rocks. Mm, come on, somebody. So we're adding or we're acknowledging the attributes of the spirit. The greater one is living inside of us, right? So to, to, to y'all in this brotherly kindness and the brotherly kindness, charity, watch this. For if this thing, if these things be in you, look what he say. For if these things be in you and abound, meaning you're not grieving the Ruah. You know how the word says, grieve not the spirit. Folks don't know what it is. Well, you will today. For if these things be in you and abound, you're allowing the, the fruit, singular, of the spirit to abound in your life. You're, you're willing to check yourself. You're willing to tell yourself no. Because the flesh lusts against the spirit. The spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one to another. So you can't do what you want to do. So you're allowing these things to abound in your life. They make you... They, they make you that you shall never be bearing an unfruitful in the knowledge of Yahushua HaMashiach. In other words, the knowledge that's in you, when you read the word, you know how some people, you can preach a message to them and they'll go against it. They're not, they don't, they're not going to submit to it. They're not going to agree with it. They're not going to do it. And that, that gets you in big trouble and folks really don't know that, right? So this is letting you know, uh-uh. For if these things be in you, if it's in you, right, and abound. In other words, just don't hide the word in your heart and not do it. It's not the hearer of the word that's justified. It's the doer. 
You got to hear it and then do it. And if these things be in you and abound because you're doing it, they make you that you should neither be barren or unfruitful in the knowledge. And see, it's the knowledge. Going back to the top, you, if you knew better, you do better if you belong to Yah. Because you can be a person that know better and won't do better because you belong to the devil. It's the truth. Can I preach it like it is? For if these things be, let's read it in another translation then. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of Yahushua HaMashiach or Adonai. You, you, you follow me? Come on, somebody. You, you, what good is knowing if you ain't going to do it? It's going to get you in more trouble. That's it. If, if, you, if you know and, and don't do, you got a problem. If you, if you, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. You have issue if you know to do better, but you go, uh-uh, I ain't doing it. Well, then don't do it then. I'm pleading for you that you do. For your soul's sake, not mine. See, the blood won't be on my hands if I tell you the truth. That's why I preach like I do. Not only because I love y'all and want y'all saved, but I'm not finna play religion, play no, no, no game. Do what he say do. Get out the bed. Get off the drugs. Quit being wicked. Quit being a witch and a warlock. Stop it. And submit and surrender to Yah. Witches and warlocks uh, uh, hang around church. <laughs> hang around the ecclesia. <laughs> Spinning webs and and shooting signals and doing wicked, wicked. For this is the thing, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you should neither be barren or unfruitful in the knowledge of Yahushua HaMashiach or Adonai. But he that lacketh these things, listen to this. I want y'all to get this. That's this sinner saved by grace doctrine type stuff, right? Folks, they got this sinful, oh, we're only human. Uh, look at this. Look at what they say. We only we all make mistakes. There ain't nobody perfect. I hear that even on his line. And I keep preaching against it. And I'm going to. If you stay like that, that is your personal business. But I'm going to continue to preach against it. And I'm going to preach on you so you can be delivered. So you don't have to be condemned with the world. The world will come to correct you. And if your carnal mind take back over, keep saying it. And that lets it all know to hear you say that stuff. You ain't living, uh, you ain't living right. But anyway, here we go. For if these things be in you and abound, you got to allow it to abound. You got to deny yourself in order for his word and his will and that divine nature to abound. You got to be able to tell yourself, no, you will be blessed is the man that endureth temptation style. You're going to endure the cravings of your flesh so that it may abound that it, and it will make you neither barren or unfruitful in the knowledge of his word. Yeshua is the word, y'all. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. See, see, you were purged from who you used to be. What you talking about? You a sinner saved by grace. You purged from that. But let your carnal mind take over. You're going to agree with the devil. And the devil told Eve, you should not surely die. So you believe you're going to be saved anyway, regardless of how scandalous you are, because you're still a sinner. And you want to say you saved by grace. Ain't no sinner saved. Read uh, uh, 1 uh, Timothy uh, 1, start at the 7th verse. Ain't no, sinner, ain't no sinner saved. The law is for the sinner. And, and there's no mercy in the law. Grace is for those that repent from sin. That put on his divine nature. I'm going to show it to you. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. And hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. Forgot. Looked in the mirror of the word. James talks about the first chapter. Look in the mirror of the word and see yourself. See the obligations, what it is to be saved, and then walk away and forget. Because you walked away, went to the beach, and all the booties is out. And all the G-string. Well, what you doing in the strip club? You wouldn't be looking up there behind. You, if, you wouldn't, if you wouldn't have went to that address on your computer and, and looking at that uh, lust and, 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 and porno, you wouldn't be going through what you're going through. You go, you pushing up on sin and then want to holler, uh, we're only human. No, stop sinning. Because the word said, not me, y'all. I'm repeating the word. I'm just giving it to you like he's telling me to. But he that lacketh these things is blind. You got him and you still living like the devil? You blind. You still holding grudges, still funny style, still don't have that brotherly kindness, 
that meekness, that love. You don't know how to overcome evil with good. If your brothers or sisters overtaken in the fault, you with your spirit, you're going to restoration mode. Build them up. No, you're going to funk with them. You're going to fight with them. Huh. I got a job to tell the truth. It's a cutting truth, too, to cut that, that foolishness off of them. But you better believe I'm loving. You better believe I'm going to be there. You better believe if they need something, I'm going to give it. You better believe I'll get a hug. I'll show up. I'll show up or blow up. I'll be there. I'm not finna get tainted by this evil world and get to trying to go into floss mode, using folks, talking about folks, acting funny. I'm going to preach the hell out of you, and I'm going to love on you, period. And he that lacketh these things is blind. It ain't just for a watchman. It's for everybody. This is talking to everybody, y'all, not just me. He that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. And have forgotten that he was purged. He was purged from that's why the word said in 2 Corinthians 5 17, if you're in the Messiah, you're a new creation, a new creature. Old things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. You ain't new yet because you're in a fake church, more than likely. That's why you ain't new. And if you is under the truth, you something wrong with you. If you're not changing. And, and it's my job to tell you, if you like getting beat down and won't change, keep chiming in. He that lacketh these things is blind and that cannot see it far off. Keep chiming in because I believe the yard's going to knock it off for you before it's everlasting too late. That's what I believe. And that's why I'm going to keep swinging. He that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see it far off. And I forget, forgot. How you forgot? Y'all heard of what was his the boxer name? Y'all must have forgot. That boy was bad too, whatever his name was. He that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he was purged. Purged from what? Your old sins. Who used to be? How you used to get out should be behind you. It ain't that no more. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, look what it say. Give all diligence. Give all diligence. Everything in all diligence. Quit chasing money and education more than you chasing Yah. Some folks is on the paper chase. And they sow on a paper chase, they don't give. And if they do give, they don't give appropriately. They're not going to give. Uh, can I talk about, folks, gods right now? Money? I don't do that? I'm going to do it. Good. I'm going to step on your flesh. Folks, it got a God, and even some folks that give don't give appropriately. They make sure they give in a way that they don't feel it because they carnal as heck. They know the word tell them to, and it's their obligation, but they're not going to give to the need. They're not going to give to make sure things are flowing in the house of Yah. They're going to make sure it's flowing at their own house because they're carnal. They don't trust Yah like that. Folks don't trust Yah. They trust the resource. They don't trust the source. They trust the resource. That's why the source attacked their resource. He give them time to repent and to get it right. And when they don't, he going to attack their resource. And then they're going to be crying to him. And they're going to have to, too. Anyway. Wherefore, the rather, brother, give all diligence to make your calling and election sure. You got a call on your life. Prove it. Second Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Say, prove it. No, you're not that Yahushua is in you. Unless you be a reprobate. Prove that he's in you. You were baptized into the body. Be about your father's business. Folks, it's about their own business. They try to use Yah to protect them and their family and make sure they're in, in Baltimore. They want y'all to bless them with the job. They ain't going to give appropriately. Even if they do give, they got to say, I got to give him something. I got to give him something. Some folks got that. Some folks, I ain't giving him nothing. But some folks say, I got to give him something. You, But you ain't giving like you should. And you know it because you're stingy. Because you don't like y'all like that. You don't like the things of y'all like that. You don't want to be obligated. So I don't want to be obligated. Well, you obligated to the world. You obligated to your natural. You show up for that. Come on, somebody. You won't hold grudges against that pimp that's going upside your head because he making mad love to you. He don't care nothing about you. Go upside your head. You super forgiven. You don't hold no grudges then. Wherefore the rather, brother, look, I'm just trying to get this to you. Please, look, because I got to go. Wherefore the rather, brother, give all diligence, all diligence, right? To, to make your calling and election is sure. You've been called and you're elected by Yah. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Let me show you all this because we got to go. You shall never fall, folks. You can't be perfect. 
everybody see it every day, all the time. Quit saying that on this line. If you do me a favor, call me so we can get in the word next time you feel like saying that. Is that fair? Listen to this. Wherefore, the rather, brother, give all diligence to make sure calling and election is sure. How are you going to do that? Through what we just read? Through knowing the knowledge and then letting the knowledge abound. That you're willing to deny yourself that the spirit of Yahweh right, will reign forth in your life, right? But look what it say. I'll tell you what the words say, right? Forget people. Forget people. There's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. Listen to the word. Look. Wherefore, rather, brother, give, give diligence to make your calling and election is sure. For if you do these things, if you make sure your calling and election is sure, by doing these things, you shall never fall. Let's look up the word fall, y'all. Word fall in the Greek. Strong's 4417 is the word. The name of the word in Greek is uh, pateo, 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 right? You should never fall. The word in Greek and in the origin of the scripture is pateo, right? Look what it say. I stumble, fall, sin, error, or transgress. So the scripture is saying you will never stumble, which is to fall, sin, error, or transgress. Did y'all hear that? So the word fall in 2 Peter 1 and 10 means to never sin. The screen wasn't stuck. I was. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humble to know how gleaning in your word for the truth of the word that your children may grow thereby so that your truth will start to kill the religion in them that they might have true relationship, that they'll go into the, the, the necessary level of worship, the necessary level of reverence, the necessary level of selflessness, so they'll be exposed to themselves, that they might mortify the deeds of the flesh, that they might die out to their lust, to their excuses, to the religious excuses that enables them to live like the devil while celebrating you in church, being a part of the ecclesia, but not living the ecclesia's lifestyle. Give revelation to your children that we all repent. Send the truth worldwide and we'll govern ourselves accordingly. Those that belong to you. In the master's name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we'll humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all may. That was the lesson for this morning. We pray that the word found you, got all in your business, and blessed you real good. Go back and study what we just went over, uh, not just for head knowledge, but that you govern yourselves accordingly so you can stop betraying yourself with your stinking thinking and the words that come out of your mouth. Um, the Most High is granting repentance for whoever wanted. There it is. Get your eternal life, and we'll be careful to give you the praise, honor, and Kabah, not only now but forevermore, in the matchless name of Yahushua Hamashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, and all man. That was the lesson for today. We pray that it found you and blessed you, and that we govern ourselves accordingly. I gotta love you. I gotta do what's right, and you gotta do the same. We all got a lane uh, to run, and looking on Yahushua, who's the author and finisher of our faith, we all got a lane to run. I pray you 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 decide within you to run it. Run away from false doctrine. Start cleaving the truth. Support truth. We got a lot of people that support in false doctrine. They don't want to admit it's false doctrine because they got a position and a title and stuff like that, right? But if it ain't preaching 100% uh, truth, you should be supporting 100% truth, right? The, the Messiah was going around calling people out of that Pharisaic and Talmudic uh, religious state of mind. And, they, and he was telling them to drop that stuff and follow him. He's doing the same thing today. Follow truth, y'all. If this lesson was true, push the share button. It might bless somebody. If it blessed you, if it corrected you, helped you, it can help somebody else. If it is true, be a supporter of truth. It would be my recommendation. If you like to, if you got the cash out, all you got to do is uh, put in my first and last name 
after you put in the, that dollar sign. So dollar sign Yahoo to Israel, Y-A-H-U-D-A-H. Y I S R A E L, if you like to support the truth of the word, if it was true. Um, you want to hang out with us, talk about the word? I love y'all. Let's do it. 302 202 1102, extension 815648. Again, 302 202 1102, extension 815648. Remember this. Every son or daughter that Yah got, he chastens and corrects them because he loves them. His job is to present us blameless before his presence because he do not want to hit us with the wrath that's already here, but it's about to increase. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Be Baruch and Baruch Shalom. I'm gone.